Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is March 2nd, 2019. In this episode, we will learn how to install C++ compiler for the first time on Windows platform. First, we need to check your Windows version like this. Right click this window button, start button, run, type in WinBER, click OK. In my case, I'm using Windows 10 and the version is 18.09. Before install Microsoft C++ compiler, please update your Windows like this. Right click once again, search Windows Update. So click this, this link and check for Windows. Then update your window to the latest version. In my case, I already updated. Then we need to change developer settings. Right click, search developer settings. Then you can find this link, double click it. Find for developers, please select developer mode. Then it will install some application, some tools, and will restart. After installing some tools for developer mode, then we are ready to install latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ compiler. Start your web browser. I usually use Chrome web browser, but I haven't installed it. I will use Microsoft web browser for the time being. In the address bar, type Download Visual Studio Enter. Then it will give some links. Then click Microsoft Visual Studio homepage. This link. From this link, we will install latest version. Today is April 2nd. Visual Studio 2019 will be officially released tomorrow. Today is April 2nd, but I am from South Korea. It is the Pacific time in the United States. Anyway, Let's click Community Edition, click this link, then it will download. Then you can select Run or Save. I will just click Run, then click Yes, then the installer will start. Click Continue. Then we can close this browser. When the Visual Studio installer starts, we can close the web browser. Please be patient. Depending on your internet connection, it will take some time. Select Desktop Development with C++. Click this link. And if you want, you can select more options here. For example, Microsoft for Microsoft to MFC tool. C++ CLI and C++ module then you can install more tools like this I haven't selected the IncrediBuild tool then if you are developing .NET application 2 click this link Then you can select more options here. For example, core, .NET Core, or some other .NET Prime tools. I will select .NET Core and all these .NET Framework. So I will select like this. Basically, I develop, most of the time, I develop using Microsoft C++, targeting Windows platform. You can also select Universal Windows Universal platform. This is an older version. So I will select this way. If we need, we can install more 
more files, more options in some future sessions, or we can remove after installing. So it will install the it will need thirty seven gigabytes. It's huge, and I will un uninstall this part. Twenty seven gigabyte. But still, I need .NET Desktop Development. Basically, if you are not using .NET Framework in your development, then you can un 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 click and select this one. You can select only uh, C++ development. If we need, we can select. We can select more options later. So I will basically select only C++ and for additional these options. We can select later. Now click install. When Visual Studio Installer prompts to reboot required message, then click the start button and reboot. After reboot, this process will continue. After rebooting your system, click Start button, then scroll down. You will find Visual Studio 2019 RC or Visual Studio 2019. Right click, Pin to Start, right click, More, Pin to Taskbar. Then it'll, this icon will be created. Double click this button. Visual Studio 2019 starts. This is the first screen we see. Not now, maybe later. In my case, I like dark tema. You can select your preferred tema. Then I select Visual C++. Start Visual Studio. Continue without code. Go to help about Visual Studio. This is release candidate. Click this button. Go to tools. Options. Select document. Make sure these options are selected. Scroll down. Start up. Select this button. Empty environment. Also, product update. I don't like automatic update. And download all, then install. In the project and the solution, location. This is somehow set to some strange folder like this. Start your Windows Explorer, File Explorer. Document Visual Studio 2019 create a project here. Project Project. Then double click this link. Copy the folder path. Then paste it here. Like this. Click OK. Then close it. Start Visual Studio once again. Now you are ready to create solutions in Visual Studio. If you want to update or install more tools later, click Tools, Get Tools and Features. Click Yes. Visual Studio Installer will be loaded again. Then you can close Visual Studio. Close Visual Studio. If you want, you can add more components here by clicking links or individual component you can add more components by selecting the options in this way you can add or remove more features now I will close it I will close it now we will install Visual Studio Code start your web browser search Visual Studio Code Download. Then in this link, 
we will install Windows Visual Studio Code. This is Visual Studio Code. Download. Run. Click Next. I accept the agreement. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Create desktop icon. Then click Next. Install. Finish. We can close this browser. We can close this browser. Read more. Or we can close it. Click this button, extension. We need Microsoft, this extension, install. It will install some other tools. Now close it. Close it. Now restart. This is Visual Studio Code icon. Drag and drop here. Start Visual Studio Code again. Click extension. You can install more extensions. Go to file. Preference. Settings. Files. Auto save. On focus change. Selecting this option is very handy. You do not need to save manually. Then close. Now we will install two more tools. 7-zip. Start your web browser. Search. Download. 7-zip download. Download 7-zip org. I'm using 64-bit windows, so I will I will install this version. Run. Yes. Installed. Installed. Now we will install one more tool. Notepad++. Notepad++ download. Click this link, download current bit, current version, download, I will install 64-bit version, this is 64-bit version, run. More info, run anyway. Click yes. Click OK. Click next. I agree. Next. Next. Create a shortcut on desktop. Install. Finish. Make sure encoding is U in UTF-8. Close. Now close all. Drag and drop on your taskbar like this. If you don't need it, then you can delete like this. Now we will create command prompt. Click start button. Oh. This button. Right click. Right click, more, open file location, 64 bit native, copy here. If you need to have 86 version, you can also copy like this. Copy here. Rename it like this. Rename. 
x64 visual c++ 19 like this then start your file explorer in d drive or c drive i created a dev soft folder click this button for example copy the folder path copy right click properties here starting Ctrl A, Ctrl V, apply. Please remember this is 64-bit Visual Studio command line prompt. Change icon, browse, system C, program files, scroll down, Microsoft Visual Studio, Visual Studio 19, select all files, community, common IDE in this folder scroll down DEBEMB -E click this click open then here click this button okay click this button okay we will be using this as icon then change the prompt name You can change Visual Studio 19 for X64. We can modify like this. Click OK. Then this icon will be changed. Then drag and drop here. This is command prompt. Drop here. This is command prompt. See in this folder. Right click, rename, enter, right click. This is 64 bit properties. Ctrl A, Ctrl B. This is your working folder. Click icon, browse, select all files, then scroll down, select this one again, open, select this one. Then we can change prompt to like this. For Visual Studio for x86, apply. OK. Then you can drag drop like this. This is for 32 bit development. This is for 64 bit development. If you don't need them, you can delete. Like this. You can delete because you can create them later. Now let's test Visual Studio. Start an editor. We'll, we will create a simple file here. Include IO stream, int main. STD C out hello C plus plus STD and there now save it make sure encoding is should be NC encoding NC save then save it to your working folder hello MSVC CPP like this save now start your command prompt dir this is the file we saved this is the file cl ehsc hello msbc cpp fe mexe then mexe created like this Hello, C++, this message is displayed properly. Using, this is for 32-bit build. You can do the same, CL, EHSC, hello, MSVC, 
cpp fe mexe so it builds successfully and it gives the result in next episode we will also install mcs2 gnu g++ compiler and the clang compiler in my next episode please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching